what's going on guys we're going to take a quick look at the nasdaq 100 so this is day four of coiling up we are getting ready and incoming for a big expected move whether that move be to the downside or to the upside we definitely at evolution traders will be ready again if you guys want to take advantage and join evolution traders right now it is half price guys for the next five people who sign up that link is down in the description box below what we are looking at is the price of 15,938 to the downside. That would be losing the five and 10 day moving average if we do have any sort of significant pullback. But as of now, and as you could see for over a month now, the bulls have done a tremendous job pushing higher. Now we've been in a four day distribution uh, period here where we're going sideways, essentially really not taking out the high side of the range, not taking out the downside of the range. So if you found it a little bit more tricky to kind of catch some trades, then definitely uh, one thing that you need to be kind of uh, a little bit more, uh, one thing that you need to focus on a little bit more is patience, okay? So I've been kind of telling the guys in the live stream this morning and over the past few days, stay patient. The move is coming about one, two, three hours after the bell. Those first initial opening ranges, yes, you can make some money on them, but they're very, very short-lived. We're not really getting into any serious trends. Now, today we came back down and tested our rising five-day moving average on a daily time frame, and we're coiling up here for that high side break of 16,089. So if that happens overnight in the pre-market, we're gonna expect a little bit of a run-up. One thing that I would not like to see is a big significant gap up. If we get a big gap up over the 16,089, I'd be a little bit more cautious, kind of wait for the pullback and buy something long off of the support versus chasing that new high. Now, I would prefer the gap down. We do have room all the way to 15,082, which is around 80 points lower. That's the 10-day moving average. But if we do start to lose this 15,938, you could get uh, a little bit sticky, right? We've got no support until we have this prior little structure, the swing low that we had here at around 15,972. And then below that, we're looking at 15,666. Now, there was a few trades that were available on you know, both long as well as short side today. Um, again, off the open, right? Off the open, we can kind of see here, if I kind of zoom back a little bit, on the right hand side chart i want you guys to kind of focus on it there's a lot going on but i just want you guys to take the overall context and then back test it on your charts so immediately off the gates we put in a little bit of a high we back tested this bollinger band and we kind of shot up put in this high back tested this pivot level so the pivot level that we had here on the nq was around 16,010. we back tested this pivot level broke over it and then took out those days highs over that first hour highs and then we started to really tread up towards that 16,069 which is our five minute supply here at the linear regression now if you don't have your chart set up this way the way that we do at evolution traders you would have never known that we were coming into a level of supply that's why i'm telling you guys setting up your charts this way will really really help you now we got a little bit of a setup here at around 9 30 in the morning pacific standard time we put in this big red engulfing candle below the 20 period moving average you could have actually taken this a little bit early here at 16,040 and played it into the 50 ema which is sitting at 16,018. so you got about 25 30 points off this move if you wanted to wait for the confirmation on the 20 sma play that confirmation came here at 950. now we broke that level came right down to this pivot and immediately bounced. One thing that I do want to point out is that if you are going to take these type of plays, understand where your upper areas of supply are. We had the five and 10 day moving average sitting here. We never closed above the 10 and then we immediately started to flush. So your entry should have been somewhere between 16,015 and around 16,011 below this pivot level. And that five minute candle put in a low all the way down to 15,977 and even below that. If we kind of look at what happened a little bit later on in the day, we attempted to back test the pivot level once, was rejected. We reclaimed the pivot level at 16.11 uh, the second time, put in a new high at 28. A little bit of a run up there before coming back down. One thing that I do want to point out to you is we never lost the prior swing low. So anytime you see us not really losing that prior swing low, that prior structure, Look for the confirmation back over the area that's been giving us trouble. The area that was giving us trouble was this pivot level at 1611. 
we actually got a beautiful, which I took long here uh, to close out the day here at 1230. We got a beautiful five SM, uh, uh, five minute 20 SMA play here at around 1611, 1612. And we ran all the way up into the close to around 16,050. So beautiful move here. We took out the swing high. We you, you could have actually waited here for the 28s to get broken, even from 28s all the way into the close. You know, we put in another 20 to 25 points. So again, stay patient, size down, especially when we're in a range like this, you do, not, you do not want to be adding on a ton of size. What you want to do is size down and widen up those stop losses a little bit so you can endure the pain and the swings of the ups and downs. So this is my recap on the NQ. Guys, if you do want to join and trade with us each and every single day, get access to the courses and the one-on-one -on -one coaching, it's half price right now for the next five people who decide to join. That link is down in the description, and I'll see all of you guys on the next video.